friends in television land, this is Pastor Dick Baker, pastor and founder of the Stratford Revival Center, located on 92nd Street on Ashland Avenue, on the south side of Chicagoland. Yes, at 92nd Street on Ashland Avenue, on the south side of Chicagoland. We want to give you, and I do mean you, a special invitation to visit us in our Sunday services at 11 a.m. This is a special deliverance service aimed at meeting the spiritual and physical needs of God's people. You will enjoy our Stratford Choir and the challenging Bible truths that will encourage your Christian faith in God. For over 26 years, we have been laboring on the south side of Chicago at the Stratford Revival Center and also at our Gary Move of God Church in Gary, Indiana at 435 Hobart Street in Gary, Indiana in the Brunswick area. Every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. I minister there. But here at Stratford Revival Center, along with my co-pastor Charlie Blackwell, assistant pastor Townsend and Murray, we have a tremendous Bible team. And we want you to come and be in these services. Don't miss these deliverance services. God is still saving souls. God is still healing sick bodies. And God is still filling with his precious Holy Spirit. Why don't you come and see God work? At this time, we're going to bring to you our Stratford Revival Choir singing a special gospel song for all of you shut-ins. God bless the choir as they come to you at this time. The Stratford Revival Choir featuring Minnie Benson as our soloist, Lorraine Bolton on the organ, and Melanie Wright, our director. There are times when we feel that we're left alone. Oh, you act so bad, sometimes you can't talk, you just moan. You lay awake at night, oh, how you cry. Keep on. 
Praise God. Amen. We thank the Lord for that number from the choir. Amen. At this time, we're going to introduce our testimony of man of God, evangelist Beto Harris. He's going to give us a testimony at this time. God bless you, Brother Harris. Praise God. Thank you, Ella Blackwell. We're so glad to be here before this television audience this afternoon to give a word of testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you today that God is real. Yeah. Amen. I'm serving a God today that is real. Yeah. He said the thief comes to rob, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah. But he said, I'm come that you might have life. Yeah. And not only life, but that more abundant. Yeah. I want to say to you today, you tried everything. Yeah. My God, but today it's time to try Jesus. Yeah. One day I tried him. I want to tell you, God saved my soul. Yeah. God sanctified my soul. Yeah. God brought me out of sin unto this marvelous life. Yeah. In the book of St. John 3, amen, 16, it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want to say to you today, my friend, praise God out in TV audience today. Pray God you have tried everything. You have tried wine. You have tried drugs. You have tried sex. Now try Jesus and see if God's not real. Thank you, Brother Harris. Praise the Lord. Now, friends, at this time, we, with great pleasure, I want to introduce our pastor, Odell Townsend. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Blackwell. Praise the Lord. Thank God. We praise the Lord for standing before you today. Praise God. We thank God for this great opportunity to just share the word of God with you today. Hallelujah. Praise God. My friend out in television land, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions and see where your life stands in light of the word of God. Praise God. We have a few words of comfort for you today out of the word of God. And we know, you know, I stand here today and I know for a fact that no one has to remind you of the state that you're in. Praise the Lord. Nor does... Uh, nor where you stand in light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I would like to take the next few minutes to stir up your pure minds by way of reminding you, praise the Lord, what the word of God has to say about you as an individual. What the word of God has to say about you. And you know, as we take a look at ourselves in the light of, in our own eyes, we look pretty good. But that's not good enough. Amen. We have to look at ourselves from in light of the gospel. All right. What does the Lord Jesus Christ has to say about my life? Amen. What does the word of God has to say about the life that I'm living? Yeah. And there's a scripture that also tells us every man in his own eyes, yeah. he looked pretty good. Yeah. But praise God, when it comes down to the word of God, that man can be left undone. Amen. With that thought, praise the Lord, I want to take you to the book of St. Matthew, praise God. About the 11th chapter in the 28th verse, the word of God tells us this. He says, come unto me, yes. all ye that labor and are heavy laden, right. and I will give you rest. Uh, yes. Now this is an open invitation to you, my friend. The Lord Jesus Christ has given you a universal invitation. Yes. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now, you know, this invitation is to the weary. There are those of you that are out there in TV land, you are worried. There are also those of you out in television land that are burdened down. And do you know that you are, in many cases, you are burdened with sin? Yeah. And I want to remind you today, my friend, that there is an extreme weight to sin. Yes, but the Word of God tells me that God will remove that weight from you. Yeah. God tells us, praise the Lord, in His Word, He says later on in the book of Matthew, He says, take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your soul. And you know I'm reminded today there are a lot of weary souls in television land. There are also those of you that are sitting in church and your souls are worried. You have no peace, my friend. But I'm here to remind you today that the Lord Jesus Christ has given you an open invitation. He says, take his yoke upon you and learn of him. For he is meek and lowly, he says. 
praise God lowly in heart and ye shall find rest for your souls. I'm also reminded today we are looking in everything for rest, my friend. Many of us are in the ball for, for rest. Many of us are on are narcotics for rest. But there is no rest in these things. There is only a temporary relief. But I'm telling you about a Savior that will give you permanent relief. He will give you rest for your soul. And you may ask me, how do I know? But I'm telling you because I've experienced this Savior. He will give you rest in your soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. An invitation to the weary. I want to comfort you today, my friend. The Word of God says you have an open invitation. An invitation for those that are burdened down. And you know I'm also reminded our marriages in many cases. There are you that your marriages are on the rock. But God, he said, he will give you rest for your soul. Praise God. He said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But you know what we find ourselves in? You are trying to do it yourself. But we are not sufficient. That burden is too heavy for us. Praise God. And you know it goes on, praise the Lord. In the book of Isaiah, the Lord tells us, Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? And you labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, the Lord says, and eat that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in sadness. The Lord is inviting you. He says, let your soul delight itself in fatness. Praise God. The word of God, he said, listen to this, my friend. He says, why do you spend money for that which satisfied not? And you know, we are spending our energies and our efforts and our finances on temporary relief. But there is no permanent relief in these things. And you know what, my friend? Many of us can afford to go on long vacations. And we can afford to buy ourselves some of the best things money can buy. But still, there is not that lasting peace. These things only last for a little while. And you're looking for something else. But the Lord God tells me, Wherefore do you spend money for that which satisfies not? And you labor for that which is... Which satisfies not, and he says, Hearken diligently unto me, and eat that which is good, and let your souls delight itself in fatness. And let me tell you here, praise the Lord, the word of God is good for your soul. And praise God, the promises of God is good for your soul. Praise God, and the Spirit of God is good for you, my friend. And he gives you an open invitation. You know, in the book of, in the book of, uh, uh, in the book of Revelation, God says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He says, If any man, woman, boy, or girl open his heart, he said, I'll come in to you and sup with you and you with me. 